Keith joins us. Okay, this is one of those times where we kind of count our blessings. Yeah. So we didn't have a beautifully sunny day today. No. But we're not looking at that. Yeah, we fought off the rain. And I'm trying to think, is that the terminal they just redid at LaGuardia? It looked like you it. Know you know the one the white that, tile was... Yeah. yeah. They used, there's one that's like great now. Hopefully that's it's It was that great. One. Yeah, yeah. The floor is seeing trouble. We're just on the edge of this. Mm. And this was actually well modeled, by the way. Like yesterday, there was a lot of talk about New York having what flooding. Have, yeah. The problem is, what can you do? It's, it's Nothing. You're concrete and asphalt, right. and it, it is what it is. And you can see the, the heavy stuff now banding out towards the 495 belt in Massachusetts into central parts of the state, uh, out towards Springfield and Amherst. This high, just holding on for dear life, trying to keep us dry. It's mostly doing so, but you can see that we're starting to saturate a few of these showers just over the border here. And it's going to be hard to hold off all of these showers, this whole wall of moisture, even with the high here in the dew points as they are. So we'll see a couple of sprinkle showers work their way in tonight over the southern and western part of the state. And elsewhere, we've seen some sun, but it's clouded up and we have wildfire smoke on top of that. So no one has really seen a, a very sunny day and temperatures reflect that. You can see where it's raining. Moultonboro, which is uh, kind of the lakes region of New Hampshire, in the 50s there, 60s for the rest of us. And then the areas that saw the most sun have done the best in the mid and upper 60s. But Nothing's all that warm. It's about average for this time of the year. So the models struggle trying to figure out, hey, where's that cutoff? I think it's about Portland. We have a chance of a shower from Portland southwest and then uh, to about Freiburg probably. Outside of that, we should be dry tonight. Temperatures actually a bit warmer than they've been the last few nights as we have clouds, so keeping us in the 50s. Tomorrow morning, we'll wake up. I'll get a text from Yukono about this. There's clouds <laughs> along the coastline initially. That will be something we have to fight with and burn off through the middle of the day. We'll do that, though. The afternoon looks really nice, right around 70 degrees, and then we just roll right into Sunday. And Sunday has always looked like the better of the two weekend days to me, but especially now with the morning clouds on Saturday. Mid-70s, a lot of sun on Sunday. I just love how that looks. The only thing that'll clue you in as we go into next week that it is not more summerish is just the time the sun sets because this high is going to be right over us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Next chance of rain, maybe Friday, next Friday, but even that I'm not sold on it. Temperature trend is up, chance of 80 on Tuesday and Wednesday, I think, and then we cool back down a little bit Thursday, Friday. But yeah, I mean, it's hard to do a whole lot better than this for the first week of October. Get out there and put your Halloween decorations out. It's nice to do that when it's still reasonable out, right? Um, I do have that shower on Friday. I'm not even convinced it happens. It might be Saturday before. And if we make it to Saturday, mm. most of the state will have gone two weeks. Because remember, it didn't That's rain last weekend either. Right. Two weeks without rain, except for maybe far southern New York County that's seeing a couple sprinkles right okay. now. Okay. Yeah, no soaking rain, though. No, nothing big. Quite the change yeah. as fall arrives. Keith, yeah. thanks so much.